Tonight I'm reporting from the Robert Adams Middle School for our sixth grade dance and etiquette lessons. So Paul, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I started dancing as a kid and I taught dancing for my mother who taught ballroom dancing and social etiquette. And then I went to Boston University and while I was there I was hired by a studio in Boston to teach in the surrounding towns. So I continued doing it from that point on. And how did you get the idea to develop this six-week uh, ballroom dancing and etiquette course for sixth graders? Well, it's similar to what my mother taught. And also, I started because some parents asked me to. And how many years ago did you begin these? Probably about 35 plus years. I mean, when I started here in Holliston, it was the old junior high. I would like to see one, two, three in the middle. One, two, three up. That's your first basic step. And then two squares. And begin to side together to the other foot in the center the square. Let's see what happens. The students at this age are still very anxious about getting into social situations. Uh, there's a wide range of uh, abilities, and uh, they, they tend to not want to engage immediately. And so what I try to do is provide an environment where they feel safe and comfortable, and that they can interact with one another comfortably. And pretty soon they feel comfortable with one another, and they start dancing. Have you noticed any differences with the children through the years? I have. That I find that socially they're a little more, it's a little more difficult to get them to communicate. Uh, and the, an example would be that when I asked the kids to talk to one another while I was putting a CD on, and there was silence. So I started uh, talking to them about how to make small talk. And we worked at that. And pretty soon they felt very comfortable with it. In addition to small talk, what other types of social etiquette are you teaching the children? Well, we start with, uh, first of all, I try to let them know that I don't care if they make a mistake. Uh, I tell them that I don't yell. I try to model for them that if you can be comfortable and, and considerate to one another, that's all I'm asking. So we start with that, and then we do uh, introductions. How do you make an introduction? We go through a receiving line, and we talk about handshakes and how to give a nice firm handshake, eye contact, making eye contact with whoever you're talking with, uh, sitting positions. We talk how to invite someone to dance. You just don't say, hey, get up. It's, you know, may I have this dance, or would you like to dance? And then also, I have boys' choices and girls' choices because I want them all to know what it's like to get up the courage to go and invite someone to dance, and also what it's like sitting there waiting to be invited to dance. What do you think the draw is for children attending these lessons? Well, I'm not sure at times, because they keep coming, which is great. And the first night, I ask the students why they're here. I ask some of the individuals that they're coming in, and then I share the responses with the class. And so usually what I hear is, oh, I'll say, why are you here? And they'll say, I'm here to learn how to dance. And I say, well, that's terrific. And then I ask someone else, and they, hear, they say they're here to learn good manners. And I said, well, I really think you already know good manners. I said, my job is to teach you when to use the right manners at the right time. And then I ask uh, someone else, and they say, I'm here because my parents made me come. Claire, why did you sign up for dance lessons? Because my mom made me. And are you liking it now that you're here? It's okay. Janie, what would you say has been your favorite part so far? Um, I like doing it with all my friends, and at the end, like, I wasn't here the second time, but like the first time we did the Cotton Eye Joe. So Autumn and Max, what is one thing you've learned so far in your two dance lessons? Uh, one thing that I've learned so far is how to do the foxtrot. Uh, one thing I've learned is like the square dance thing. Some of them will come back to me, I'll see them in town or whatever, and they'll say, Hey, Mr. Lamoureux, I use some of your stuff. And I'd say, well, what is some of my stuff? He said, I got a job. And I use the handshake and the eye contact and so on. And some of them have been complimented about their manners and how they can make an introduction and how to carry on a small conversation. So it's been wonderful. For Heartbeat of Holliston, I'm Melissa Casper.